You know, when you go and buy cast iron for the first time, uh, it often comes pre-seasoned. Uh, there still might be some cast out there that's unseasoned at all, and by that, a pre-seasoned piece of cast iron is already going to look somewhat blackened, somewhat smooth finished. Unseasoned cast iron is just a bare piece of raw cast. It's going to shine about like a silver dollar or a quarter. But when you find a piece of cast iron and it's pre-seasoned, we're going to re-season it like it was the very first time we ever used it in our life. And to do that, we take a pre-seasoned, this is a 10-inch oven, we're going to run some really hot water in this rascal. No soap. You never let cast see soap. You can take your fingers, a sponge, anything. We just want to wipe it around in there really good. This water's hot. If there's any oily residue, you'll see it float to the top pretty quick. Then we're going to take this out, pour it out, take it, if you're in the house, to a burner on a high heat. If you're outside, you can do this on a heat source out there. We can wipe all this out first. Make sure when you do, you're using a rag that is lint free. Uh, we never use a paper towel in one. Wipe that water out there, but even though it's wiped out, them pores aren't open. That cast is sealed with their pre-season. We're going to warm this up to a desired temperature, which is probably about 160, 180 degrees. I can tell by that, but these are wore out fingers. They've touched enough hot cast iron. But all this water is going to evaporate in this oven, and we're going to get it clean, started over. I'm not saying I want to cook their pre-seasoning out. I just want to season it one more time before I start, because I don't know what they seasoned it with. All right, this little oven's dry. We're going to set this rascal here to let it cool just a minute because it's plenty warm. I'd say it's ready to go. We use 100% pure olive oil. A good 100% cotton rag. You can use any rag you want. You can use your old underwear. I don't care. Just make sure that they're lint free because when you're wiping something in an oven, if there's any edges that are rough, anything for it to catch on, you're going to get a piece of lint that will stay in there. After time, you get a buildup. So many people want to use paper towels and they'll hang on that and then you you go to cooking paper towels more than you do anything else. You can pour your oil on a rag or you can pour it directly in this oven. It doesn't take much, I promise you. And that old oven is hot. You can see that this oil is beginning to run pretty quick as it gets on there. And you can do this two different ways. You can wipe it in there or you can run it around here until you can make it just get everything soaked plumb up. One thing we're not doing that I think you need to know we're not burning this oil. You don't want to heat this oven to where it's so hot that when you pour that in there, it's a smoke effect. We're not cooking this oil. We're trying to get it down in the pores of this cast. You take your good rag, you wipe out any extra oil that wasn't soaked by this old cast iron when it was hot. Everything smooth, shiny, seasoned proper the first time. One thing you have to remember, that's a Dutch oven. We're cooking with the top and the bottom. This was the same way. It come with that oven, it's pre-seasoned. Go through the same method. Take hot water, make sure it's good and hot. Let's wipe the residue, anything we can get off here the first time. Rinse it good. Dry her off. Set her on the burner. Get her hot. Then we're going to re-season it just like we did this. The outside of this cast iron gets abused. Ours, me and Shannon's, look so bad at times. But if you're just using this every so, every, every so often, you keep it in good shape. You'll take care of the outside just like you do the inside. Take a wire brush when you're finished cooking. Get all this clean everywhere. Get the lid clean. One thing I'll tell you, anybody that puts writing on the Dutch oven anymore, all the ash gets caught in there. All the, all the stuff that you've been cooking, the coals, always want to stick in this writing. So you may have to take a wire brush and really clean all this out before you start. You know, we're going to re-season this whole oven, uh, the outside of it. And uh, we went through showing you how to clean everything, plumb off. You can use any oil you want to season the outside of the oven. You can use canola oil, you can use peanut oil, any oil you want. They make so many different kinds. And all we do to this same lint-free rag, Pour a little oil on there, or you can pour it directly on your Dutch oven, on the top of it. We're going to smear it all the way around, give this thing a nice coat. This is still warm from before, 
I can feel it, I promise you. Inside and out, all the way around. One thing you need to remember here too, this thing got a bottom to it. Let's make sure you get some oil on it too for the first time. Now if you're doing this in the house, we've preheated this oven to about 200 degrees. Make sure you let it get hot first. Put this old piece of cast iron that you've got seasoned on a cookie sheet, whatever you want to, a piece of tin foil, line that rack in that burner. You don't want this dripping down in the bottom of that stove. Your wife will not let you back in the house again, I promise. Old oven's hot, 200 degrees. We're going to slide her in here. You can do this outside in a fire. You can do the same thing with cold, just a little slow heat. All right, it's been about 20 minutes that that old Dutch oven has been in this oven and pre-seasoning itself. So let's turn her off. We'll just let her cool. Let it cool till it's plum cooled off and you'll be ready to go after that. Think the first time we used this old piece of cast iron. Sure, it was pre-seasoned long years ago, but we're going to season cast every time we use it. Every time you cook something in this old skillet or a Dutch oven, you clean it just like we went through the process the very first time. Whatever you cook in it, let's take it, put some hot water in it. Unless it's been either bread or cornbread, something that wipes out real easy, you rinse it out really good with hot water. You bring it back over here, put it on the burner or outside on your campfire, whatever you've got. Wipe this rascal out, get the water that you can. Now let the heat make its love to that old piece of cast iron. We're going to let all that water evaporate. We're going to let them pores open a little. When you can reach in there with your hand and you can't hardly hold it on there, I guarantee you it's hot enough to accept seasoning. This old piece of cast is ready. We're going to set her off the burner. Take a little olive oil. And like I say, it don't take much after you get an oven seasoned over and over again. Because if you put too much in there, all you're doing is building up a recipe. That old thing will come out just as clean and shiny as any Teflon skillet that you've ever seen in your life. You can flip an egg in that thing. You know, the reason I use olive oil and seasoned old oven, sure, there's other oil and methods, I promise you. But if you're just using cast ever so often and you keep seasoning with a vegetable oil or some old lard or something, you get her seasoned in there, rubbed in there, you set it up for a long time, you don't use it for six months. If you take that, you begin to smell it, old oil will become rancid because you're just building up a residue over time. That's why I like to use olive oil. It's lighter. It'll lay in there. It absorbs well, but I usually say it'll keep your old oven sweet. Like I say, there's other methods out there, but I've been using olive oil ever since I started and it ain't never failed me. You take care of this cast iron, it'll last you forever and it'll cook the best meals you've ever eaten in your life.